Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading from the 4th to the 10th of May 2020 and I'm using the crystal ball I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot uh, Archangel Michael uh, cards and the Angel Feather cards and the Healing Angel Powers Okay, it is in Dutch so I will translate uh, words don't mean much <laughs> Okay um, but words, I mean pictures speak a thousand words so here we go I have cleaned the ball and uh, before I start I do this with every reading and here we go see what it's uh, saying for you some beautiful messages always come right out of the ball I see a reflection uh, see a reflection this could be a reflection of yourself you might be reflecting about life you might be evaluating life again uh, in situations so I would say reflection and then I'm noting these things down because then I can see whether they're coming back in the cards and that's what I find awesome up till now they've been really great I also see there is a void a hole you might feel empty you might feel um, that there is a space you 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 yeah void space uh, you might feel that you are sort of like nothing is happening in your head no I Id new ideas are coming perhaps you might be feeling that you might be feeling empty because everything is being put on hold also I see ice I see ice and the color blue ice so perhaps you are watching or being more aware of your surroundings it might be your uh, third eye that's opening up that could be it as well opening up so you might be getting different insight that's the reflection you're reflecting things inside different insight wow amazing I also see a circle and it's like three dots and then a line so I think there is like a big family but there's new people coming in three new people coming in um, I feel that there's things are being brought together uh, three people in a circle so it might not make any sense to you now but there could be things could be bringing together bringing together that's what I'm also hearing I have to feel I have to hear I have to see so that is what I'm hearing and seeing for you right now so let's go to the cards and see what the cards are saying for you let's have a look They're upside down so I'll do that I'm shaking the cards I do that sometimes on video as well because then you can see that I do shake the cards and I didn't use the cards beforehand before I went into the crystal ball because there are real messages coming from the crystal ball everybody does it differently and every time you can do it differently it all depends what the guides and angels are telling me to do so I'm taking one from the top and we've got the hanged man the hanged man suspension delay other perspective uh, and other vision how to see things differently uh, taking time out to meditate contemplate and evaluate I'm taking one from the bottom now and you have the daughter of wands that's action creativity so a new job a new hobby a new passion and the daughter of wands the king is Aries the queen is Leo so Sagittarius is the page and in this deck it is the daughter but don't exclude uh, 
a Leo in Aries. So Sagittarius, you might be meeting a Sagittarius. Okay, I'm taking one somewhere in the middle. And it is the sun. Ooh, you're in the spotlight. Leo. Leo, like I said, don't exclude another fire sign. Okay, so it might be a Leo that has your, uh, has an eye on you, looking, hanging upside down, or thinking about you. Okay, then you have the Two of Pentacles, transformational period, keeping balance between heart and soul, heart and mind, work and home. Ooh, financial balance and you've got the four of swords underneath the deck okay that's the four of swords the golden lamb that's what i'm hearing you might be reaching for the ultimate goal okay now let's have a look i'll take my little list that i've written down reflection this could be reflection the hanged man like i said meditation contemplation uh, evaluation spiritual you might be coming more spiritual you might be changing the way you think you are reflecting on spirituality or a belief your belief system Ooh, that's meditation spiritual card as well like I said you will be getting news from you could be getting news about a job or a hobby Perhaps this is the void that you're feeling or the space. You want to fill it with something new, a new hobby or a new passion. This could be with a person, but it could also be with something that you love to do, that you're passionate about. Go horse riding or knitting, sewing, painting, decorating, refurbishing your home or going out for walks. Action. Boom. Okay. Ice. I've got the, the word ice, and here you are, they're red in this deck, so looking at things from a different perspective, and this is a spiritual card, so perhaps you are opening up to spirituality, perhaps your third eye, I also said the third eye is opening up, okay, um, travel, holidays, moving home, you're in the spotlight, illumination, illuminating perhaps uh, your thoughts about uh, the third eye or spirituality or as to what you would love to do perhaps a promotion and the next level in a relationship or at work Ooh, nice one a birth birth of a child or a project again the same as this one great stuff positive card you might be going on holiday to a warm country but you might have to balance the finances first the butterfly they've depicted it in a butterfly so you are becoming a butterfly or you are the butterfly you are in balance perhaps at the end of the week in the weekend okay and the bottom of the deck is again you might even go to India now all of a sudden the warm country could be India okay but you're saving up you're taking it easy you're taking time out you're meditating, contemplating, again a spiritual card. This is the Four of Swords, that means take time out. But I think you, once this lockdown is over, you'll be going on holiday or moving home, but you're taking it easy. You're thinking things through. Well done. Now your Angel card is Pleasure. Well, what is what Pleasure? There you go. It is 24, 6, Balance you are keeping balance taking it easy balancing you must balance to be able to hang upside down okay uh, pleasure 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 that's also holiday passion boom passion again passion spotlight you love to be in the spotlight but you need more information with regards to something perhaps traveling and going on holiday look at her dancing she's enjoying what she's doing so if you're not enjoying now you certainly will by the end of the week Archangel Michael you've got a spiritual card it's a purple card so you've got the unexpected blessing gift from heaven the golden key 
Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key gives you an unexpected blessing from heaven. Perhaps a little bit more money, perhaps a promotion like I said. That you've got action to take, news coming. The golden s uh, the sun, promotion, new job if you haven't got a job. So it's a blessing from heaven. The angels are with you. Spirituality. You might be getting this beautiful gift from heaven that your third eye is opening up if you're interested in the spirituality. You might even become a psychic or a medium or a yoga teacher. And you've got Magneta. That's the Barbie color. Okay. Now, you have entrepreneurial essence or essence of an entrepreneur. The angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic. They believe that you ca could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. The Magneta, Magneta Angel Feather is presented to you as a symbol of an entrepreneur. Magneta is a combination of colors, red and violet. The ain't and violet is spiritual and you've got a violet or purple colored card, spiritual card. Angels would like to advise you that personal change is required to enable you to go forward to the next important stage of your life. Take some time out to heal any aspects within yourself that may hinder your growth, such as an emotional, old emotional or mental patterns. This emotional healing will render you steadfast in your convictions and passions. Right. Balance. Balance. Spiritual. And what was that one? Change in life. So that you can go forward. Ooh. Um. And heal. Take time out to heal from the past because you are in a transformational period. You're trying to find your balance. Okay. This emotional healing will render you steadfast in your convictions and passions. The angels believe that you have the qualities to be a visionary. Boom. One. Uh, two. Here you are. You can see it visionary the third eye definitely that's the golden spots in be just between the eyes okay in the business arena angelic support is yours in all the endeavors you pursue uh, heaven is giving you a golden key a blessing okay a gift from heaven so that could be the golden key the third eye now you can uh, take uh, crystals, rhodonite, cherry opal, and tolite, or two lights, and that will help you develop your um, psychic or emotional uh, awareness, your spiritual awareness. Okay, Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, and I wish you a beautiful week. Please leave reactions behind because I can learn from you too. And please share the videos and give us the thumbs up. Take care, take, stay safe and be blessed. Love you all. See you in the life.